Hello, this is David from goldstartool.com and uh, uh, this is second video in 15, 20 minutes. Yes. Um, all right, so today is the gadget day. We just showed the uh, laser pointer. I'm sure you saw that, but today I'm gonna show you guys something nice. I like it. I always want to have it. It, how do you, how do you pronounce that? Turret? Turret Pressor Feed Assembly. And this is the number 154628. So you know you always, you're, you're in between changing the feed for the sewing machine and um, these are not, you know, our prep is not nice. We have to prep the videos. We have to have like, set up the videos. So anyways, we'll not do that, but anyways. You wanna go between the feet, zipper foot, Teflon feet, and all that stuff. Let's say you have these packages of feet that you wanna go between coating food and you wanna go between zipper food and all that stuff. This is our most pop popular uh, set of feet that we sell. It's all the zipper food. So anyway, we're not selling feet here today. We're not showing them up. We are showing this thing down. So this one goes on your foot bar right here, okay? And you could put in three different type of feet on it, right? And then you just rotate. Let's say you're sewing this, you're doing regular feet, and then you wanna jump to a zipper foot, and you wanna go to a invisible zipper foot, and you wanna go to a narrow zipper foot. So instead of keep changing, you could that, that, that. But there's a catch. This thing right here, you see, if go here, let me open this up. Let me open this up. Uh, so this is, by the way, good for all different type of sewing machine. Any sewing machine you have, uh, Juki, Brother, Console, Kansai, Special, New Tech, any, any, any sewing machine that you have, Mitsubishi, it's good. So let's say I take this feed off, okay? Now, I wanna put this in, right? And this is the same where we'll fit in there, right? We'll go, and take this out. I'm gonna take this out. I have to go on the other side. Uh, you could go on the other side. Okay, go on the other side, okay. Right, all right. I'm gonna get rid of this, all right. Okay. So imagine you wanna put this on, not imagine, I'm sure you, if you're doing this now, if you, this is, by the way, this is, will work on this one. See, when you wanna put this one in, it won't fit in there, right? That means that this has to go up, right? This thing has to go up there. We could adjust the foot bar. All you have to do, open this good thing. Open this all the way up. All the way. See that? Okay. This is actually the foot bar. This is something that pushes that thing down. Now, um, a lot of people sell this with a bar already. I don't want this is for, you could use this. We don't want to use the chain move. We don't want to um, change the needle bar. We want to adjust it. So I just took this out. The next thing is that you get rid of this um, plug. Maybe I could just do. Good thing we have wheels here. This is better, right? Yes. Am I small or what? Very. You, that's it. And I'm gonna bring this here. I'm gonna turn, am I on? No, on a little off. There is a 
You see this one right here? There is a screw inside that you open and this goes straight up, you see? Right, out, down, okay. Put this on. You see that? I just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how to adjust everything, right? And put the original screws on. Now, we have a screws on our website. This thing doesn't come with all these extra screws. But you know what, maybe I just should include it in there. I'm gonna include it in there, right? So I'm closing this. You're not gonna make a mistake adjusting this to this. There will not be a mistake. Meaning is that which way? There is no which way. There is only one way that you could do this. So you will not make a mistake, right? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tie this up. And you see all this is moving and wiggling and going left and right. It's all normal, right? I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do with this. I'm gonna tie this up. should have some music in the background. Some funky music. Okay. So you see now this thing turns and uh, okay. We don't want that. We want that to be straight down. So what you do first, I want you to go ahead and close this first. You just go ahead and close. This is the one that gives the pressure. See right now, I'm gonna close this all the way down and you see what I'm talking about. Where'd you go? I'm gonna get rid of this so you guys don't make a mistake. this to be right in the correct spot. Let me pull it up. You need some of these tools that I don't even have with me because I just do this spontaneously. That's the word. Spontaneous. Spontaneously, right? Yes. But oh, you have to have these things you know what, let me open everything so you guys see what I'm doing. It shouldn't be a, I was gonna just do it the other way, but I think it's much better for all of us to see the inside, right? Yes. And uh, don't lose the screws. And I promise you, you're not gonna break your sewing machine. Nothing's gonna happen to you. The machine is not gonna be out of warranty if you do this stuff. It's a, yeah, this machine, by the way, is the Juki DDL 8700H. And you could do this with any single needle sewing machine. I tried it, I mean, I just looked at the DDL 8700-7, and it doesn't work on the 8700-7. Um, also, you see that back there? This is a fully loaded Juki rider. DDL-9000C, I don't, uh, I didn't try it on that one, but it would work on that one. So here, in the, when you wanna take this out, just go ahead and from one corner, I opened all the screws, right? I just wanna, it, it's a seal pretty much, and nothing is gonna happen when you uh, take this out. Take the seals off to the plug. That's it. You see this one? 
this is the pressure. And this one goes right here. This is what we want it, right? See that one? Right here. Now, I open this screw right here. I, I tighten this. So, for you guys to make sure this is going to the right place, you wanna make sure that we're doing it right, all you have to do is to bring this down. I'm, I'm talking about the needle, right? This needle, you wanna make sure this needle is not hitting anything. You bring this needle all the way down, and when it's right here in the middle, all right? Drop my screwdriver. Right? Go ahead and tie this one. Right in the middle. Right? You want to make sure that this is tight. And I mean tight. Right? Now, the next step is to give this some tension. Otherwise, you will not go out. Just go ahead and press this and close it. See that, gives the tension. This is the lock, lock it. And when you do this, this goes up and down. No problem, right? And right here. Now, when you're done, when you do it, so here, let's do one. By the way, again, we have to make sure that uh, our guys in the back know that when we ship this stuff, we're gonna ship some of these screws with it so people don't have to call us for a screw. We're gonna go ahead and do this. Now, if you feel that you have too much tension on this, you want more loosen, step, uh, repeat the step that I just did. Just open it up and let it go up a little bit more. I'm gonna put all of this, this in there. Can we play some music in the back? Music. they make it so hard for this school okay here you go so again you're gonna make sure that then this is coming down see now this one is hitting this one you see I'm gonna adjust that one I'm gonna adjust that one I'm gonna Open this up, I'm gonna pull it back. And let me do the next one. All of this thing we're gonna adjust. And this is the next one. Just that when you're doing it, you have to definitely, definitely, definitely adjust these things. of my viewers are ladies, don't get me wrong, a lot of men also watch the videos, but you're gonna have easier, much easier time because you have time uh, and you have, I am very unpatient and being unpatient, it does not help you when you're doing sewing and stuff like that. You have to be very, very patient, all right? Okay. I'm gonna take the, now I'm gonna make sure the needle goes back up, 
right? And you bring it down and you do your shami. Now, again, if you feel that you want this one to be also, let me show you something. You see that one right there? And here there is a washer that there is a knot. That that knot is connected to the back here. And if you feel that you are too loose, this is perfect right now. And honestly, when this thing falls into place, see, there are I wish I could show you this. Um, there are these notches in there that would, uh, I don't know, that when you come to the correct place, it will stop, right? Now, I feel like when it comes to this one, this is a little bit up, you see that? And I want it to come more, I think that we have more room in the, see? You see that one, how much this one came down nicely? So I opened this up. I'm gonna open the lock. See, I'm gonna give it more pressure. More pressure. Right? Okay. And now I'm gonna go ahead and make sure. Don't get me wrong, this is also a very big needle sewing machine. This is the 8700H. 8700H is really um, heavy. heavy. So with this one, I have to go and adjust it more, but let me see this one. Perfect, you see? Still you could go adjust, do some adjustment, but these are all, if you see, these are all. All of this is perfect going in. So the idea is that when you sew, and I'm gonna try to sew for you guys so you know that it's working. And uh, there are many, many, many foods, like all different type of food that you need to do. You could pretty much do on this one. Somebody's trying to come in. We're gonna just wrap, wrap this up. One, two, three. Uh, what's the price? $49.99. I checked the other sites and they have it over 100 bucks. All right, so here you go. All right. Question. Yes. Are you able to use it on home sewing machines? No, no, no. No, these only are only extra? high shine. High no walking food, good question. No walking food machine, no only industrial sewing machine. And it's high shine. See, that's it. And then when you're done, the only thing is that you have to cut that thread or move it around, you know what I'm saying? To bring it around. And I mean, yeah, you have to do that. Up, and this, by the way, this is a, um, invisible zipper foot. I mean, any type of zipper you have, anything you have, you just wanna go between one and the other one, you are good to go. That's it. This is David from goldstartool.com. I think you guys get the point. Very simple. It's working, it's doable. You could do it on all different types of sewing machine, new tech, console, uh, Juki, Brother, Mitsubishi. And uh, it's on our website, goldstartool.com. Buy them while supplies last on our website. Thank you for watching and have a golden day. Golden day.